Interesting. Okay. Oh, yep, yeah, you can get through here. So, okay. Got another memory fragment. Please remain focused in there, Restorer. I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times before, and I won't stand for it again. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No. I want you to inject it now. I don't care. They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. <sighs> Sorry about that. I need to go and sort out an incompetent individual, as per usual. I'll be back shortly. You can just tell she's not a nice character, can't you? I do not... know what that key's for. Oh, that's... that's really cool. It tells you how many reject... projectors, not projectors. Jesus Christ. Uh, in an area. I did not know that. That's very useful. Uh, okay, and... anything else down here apart from that note? Lock door when going to bed. Thanks, Jean. Right, so up here we are in the pub now, so I'll... A crow with an injured wing, just lying there on the beach. I'll go to the... I imagine this was almost a second home to most of the fishermen who lived here. There was a strong reading when you walked in. There's a story to be told here. I think you better keep looking. Take some matches, why not? So yes, the Crow's Nest pub. Looks like I'm going to be doing the other bit last, I think. Toilets, etc. Not terribly exciting. Oh. Right, so. There's... We can't get up there. I, I don't think we can get up there anyway. Two seconds. I don't think this key works on it. No. Okay. But I do... Oh. Well... There we go. So, don't know if you've noticed or not, but there's actually a place where you can write on this. It's a uh, pinwheel brew, and if you go down here, I think it's not that one, is it? It's It's not even down here, but I th I can't remember what it is. I think it might be JD Taylor. Um. Yes, it is. It's JD Taylor. Okay. would have died for sure if it was just left there. There we go. And we've got a safe with a combination piece missing, which is one that we picked up earlier in a different house. And it's there. I'm not entirely sure what the actual combination is for it. We've got a couple that could be combinations here, but I don't know if it's going to be. So we'll just have a quick look, see if there are any others. Number for you? Hey, 
Thanks for locking up for me tonight. Don't forget to leave the key in the safe so that I can get into my room when I return. Combination is 1513. Thanks, Elaine. See, okay, there's a different one. And this is the room that we came into before. Bard customers, can all staff please take note that the following customers are currently barred from the Crow's Nest pub. Please do not allow them to enter the premises till their bar is lifted. Steve Gregson, one week. Maggie Hemingway, five weeks. Christopher Fletcher, eight weeks. Mark Penman, six months. Jim Thompson, five years. Wow. That's amazing. I, is Jim Thompson Jean's dad? I can't remember what Jean's last name is now. Anyway, what was it? 1513. Yep, okay. First night, it flapped and panicked for hours. But by the morning, that it is felt the calm key and safe. To this room. Oh. Now then, this is evidently a kid's place. And there's a diary. It has been months since I took over the pub in Pinwheel, and as I thought, it hasn't been easy. I have barred many people from entering the premises due to their insulting comments and cruel words. People include those layabout criminals, Jim and Mark, as well as Christopher Fletcher. Jim and Mark deserved it, but I feel sorry for Chris. The guy needs to pick himself up and look after his lad properly. As of tomorrow, I will be putting up a barring list on the side that clearly and publicly states who is barred and how long they are barred for. Maybe I should also bar that, that lecherous Matthew Lewis as well. He keeps giving me unwanted attention after he's had a few drinks, and sometimes it's crude. Well, Philip did say you're a hard one, Elaine. Um, Christopher Fletcher, I think, is an important guy. Jim and Mark, possibly not, actually. Maybe I was wrong about that. Anyway, in this room... There are a few things. There's a radio again, there's some drawers that I don't think have anything in them nope, wardrobe, nothing I don't believe, oh nothing, probably nothing, nope okay, and um, the one thing that is important in this room is this boat it took weeks but it healed fully and pretty soon it needed to be released back into nature Uh, yeah, so this is a little toy boat, and if you remember in the blacksmith's workshop, he said about them having toy boat races up the river. So if we go up back and go, it's down here, I think. There is a memory fragment. Hello, Dr. Edmund speaking. No, everything is coming along as expected. He's showing some good progress. I know, but... Yes, I understand. I'll send the results as soon as possible. That was observations. The board are expecting results soon. We simply can't miss this deadline. There should only be one more memory fragment in this area that we need to find. Please don't let me down like the others did. Look, I'm not saying I like you, Phil, because you're obviously a creepy person, but I'm trying. Anyway, so there is a place here to put a toy boat. Um. Hmm. There we go. The wise words of a father. If you love something, set it free.
This game is so lovely. Anyway, so if we go back to the crow's nest now... Ah, there's the other memory fragment, okay. Um, yeah, if we go back to the crow's nest now, then that projector should be restored. And we can have a look at what it holds. The bird brooch is a special one. I'm marking it under positive. Although it deals with letting go, it also has a strong emphasis on a father's love. And when I used it, I found that the patient didn't want to let it go. <clears throat> this may be an early sign of progress. As experimental as this process is, I still feel it's heavily grounded in tangible science. So there we go, we sold another projector. Now, we'll um, collect that memory fragment. <laughs> that's also something that's really nice about this game is when you solve a projector in an area you sort of get it sort of comes back to life a bit in the audio and it's lovely it really is anyway remember restorer i will not let you project back to the real world until our goal is reached don't worry about what's happening on my end i'll make sure you're safe as long as you help me I'll help you, and we'll get through this in one piece. Now, when you're ready, come back to the case and let's access the first core memory of this evening.